Hello, this is Lego Builder for Thousand, and today I'm going to be doing a review of these old Lego sets. And these are actually very old Lego sets. I don't think they make them anymore. And they're Lego system sets. I believe they were. Um, look at my notes here. Uh, so one, this one was released in. This is the Adventure Car set. And it was released in 1998. And then you've got the Fla Crossbow Flamer set. And it was released in 1998. Okay, so you released at the same time, 1998. And these sets have actually been sitting in the cupboard for ages. Uh, my mum just did a clean out of her cupboard. And she found these sets here. And we're thinking that I probably was going to get them when I was in two, uh, when I was free. So that would be in 2003. Because we went to a trip to Africa, and I did get, I think I got some other ones, because this is, uh, this, uh, Flamer, this is a crossbow Flamer set, is a, in the Fright Night theme, and I did get some other Fright Night sets. I don't think I got any others of the Adventure theme, but when I went to South Africa when I was free, I remember the airport, I think it was from my grandparents, got some Lego sets, and this is probably just some other Lego sets that, uh, hadn't reached me until now, so they've been sitting in the cupboard waiting, uh, for me to open them, and I thought, what a great opportunity to open them on the camera, and, uh, yeah, share, share my thoughts about the set, and I'm, I'm really excited to open them. Uh, so I think, first off, we're gonna go with this Adventure Car set, and depending on how long the video is, this, um, this video should be one video with, uh, opening the two sets and reviewing them and saying my thoughts, or it'd be, uh, two videos, one for each set. But, uh, nevertheless, we'll start off with this What's it called? Keep hearing the names. Uh, Venture Car. So this is the Venture Car set. Okay. So I've just got to crane my neck to see what's... Okay, so this set here. Uh, we've got a man in a car. And I believe that man is... Uh, uh, Baron Von Baron. Which is a very interesting name. He's, uh, so I think he's a John, Johnny Thunderbolton. But they're what I'm probably most excited for. Because I don't have the face and torso um, at all. Um, and also the hook piece, you've got like a little, oops, a little hook piece here, which I don't have that either, so I'm probably very excited, I'm very excited for that. The hat I do have, and the gun, I've got Indiana Jones guns, which are very similar to those, or probably the exact same design. And then the car, I mean, the car's very basic, I think those sets in those days, from 1998, uh, were very basic sets, they grow our sets now, um, in 2016. Uh, or even like 15, 14, uh, 2015, 14, they're, they're more, much more detailed. Legos become more detail oriented. And these are more like kind of basic bricks and a bit chunky kind of car. But I think it's still kind of a cute little uh, car there that you can drive in. But I think I'm more kind of in the set for the figure. Alright, well, let's get this uh, Fright Night set out of the way. And let's open up this. Uh, what's his name? Adventure car. It's a strange name, Adventure Car. No. Okay, let's open up this Adventure Car set and see what we have inside. One thing I did want to mention before I open it, or mention but show, was the um the back and what all the other different sets you can get. And if I just come around here to get a better view. I do believe that I actually have some of these. I think I have that set. And I think they might be my brother's set, but we kind of share our Lego on it. Well, he doesn't really play Lego much anymore, so it's kind of mine. But I believe, uh, yeah, I own those two sets. And then you've got the Fright Night set, and then you've got this set, of course, which is uh, the Adventure Car. I finally remember that name. And it looks like here yeah, that they're kind of... It seems like, you know the minifig series nowadays? How you get, like, the poly bags and you, um... Yeah, like you don't know what minifigure you're getting. It seems like that, because it's got like in a series and all kind of from different themes. But I think obviously this, you know what you're going to get, you're going to get this guy. Uh, but it seems like like some, some the kind of thing which like, looks like 10 different kind of uh, vehicles and a figure from all these different series. Okay, without further ado, let's open the setup. I noticed that the uh, the system of opening up sets hasn't changed at all from the uh, 1998. You still have that kind of 
push them in like you can see and put them sets here. You've got that fun kind of push system there. Um, which is kind of an interesting kind of thing. Okay, so we've got like a little bag here which looks like it has all the pieces in it and the figure. Strangely enough, the figure is already built. His legs and the hand are detached, but his head, look, his head and his body are together. And then he's got his like hook and his arm, or his, his hand, which are usually uh, already attached in the Spurgo sets. This seems strange, his head's attached. Okay, let's put this box away. Uh, let's have a look at the instructions. Oh, we've got a little seven. Which, if I look at the back of the box again, yeah, he's number seven there, see? You see, he's uh, number seven on the back with his collectibles, and then number seven there, should be a little sticker. Probably won't use that sticker at all. Um, I guess it's kind of a cool thing to have. Um, so, let's open it. So it looks like a, a small one piece instruction. I guess because it's such a small set, so it shows you how to build the figure, and then um, it looks like seven steps. It's a very easy build. There. Oh, and then we've got this, uh, a large image of all the different uh, things you can get in this little. I'm not sure what to call it, like a collectible type. Uh, yeah, just a collectible series. And then this is a, a Johnny Thunder. So it's obviously advertising another set of uh, Johnny Thunder. So it's a very small set, so what I'll do is I'll just build it off camera, or maybe do a time lapse of it, and then I shall uh, review it and share my thoughts. Okay, so I have finished building the set, and you've got the little figure, and the car. Seems like the car keeps like rolling back, I can't... Ah, oh, there we go, let's put it sideways. And then it seems like even back in the 1990s, or late 1990s, they still have spare pieces. So you've got like a spare gun, and then a spare little... Um, knob stud thing, a round, I guess you call it a round stud, and I like the fact that they got a spare gun, because I always like these guns, I'm just looking at it, it does look different to the Indiana Jones guns that I already have, I don't know if you can see that there, get it to focus, um, yeah, it does look kind of a bit different, just looks, I think it kind of looks a bit older, even though it's I'm sitting in the set, everything kind of has that kind of wash, I don't know, it just feels a bit dirtier, even though it's been sitting in the packet all this time, it just doesn't feel as clean as like the newer sets, which I don't mind too much, I guess it adds to the kind of, um, um, what's the word, I'm not sure, the, antique, yeah, antique, antique, oh that's it, antique, antique, and antiqueness of it, kind of like the old, um, oldness of it, I kind of like that. So here we've got the uh, the figure, was it uh, Baron von Baron, uh, the the villain of Johnny Depp. And so he comes from the Egypt line. And so let's look at uh, so let's, let's look at his face printing to start with. I very much like that, as I mentioned before, and I think it's a great piece to have. And you've got the so if I take his hat off, you can see a bit better. He's got the big eyebrows and the moustache, and it looks like he has a little scar on him as well. And he's got the monocle, of course. So I very much like that design. I think I use that a lot. I'll maybe just keep the figure as is. Um, and you've got the torso with a little pouch. Uh, it's got little pockets there, a belt. Um, and it's got, like, I wonder what this blue line was. 
It looks like a must part of his jacket. It's got like this bit here. But then it goes over the pouch. It's an interesting kind of design. It's some kind of wouldn't be a necklace, it wouldn't. The thing is the kind of character that wears that kind of necklace, but I think it must just be the part in the jacket. But it seems strange to like actually go over the pocket. See here it goes it goes over the pocket. And then you've got the hook, which I'm number four, I'm very excited for a great piece. And I should test it out here. I was hoping yes it does. Yeah, I really wish like I was hoping that it came off and it does, which is really great. So I can put it on other figures as well. To uh, go to hook hand, it's a pretty cool feature. I don't actually have any hooks. I think the closest thing that I have to a hook is a um some I think it's like an uh, one of the agents line and it was a figure that had like this like his arm came off. And they had like a metal arm, and you could put like a chainsaw or something, and you could probably put some kind of hook thing in that. Um, but now I've got this uh, actual little hook here, which is pretty cool. And then the pants are pretty generic, just grey pants. Uh, no printing on the back of the, either the head or the torso. I don't, I don't think in those days there was much printing on the back, I think that's a more newer thing. Um, or maybe there were a few heads, but like definitely not torsos. That's very rare back then. Probably even not at all. And then you've got the gun, which I think I should do the comparison of the that gun, the, well, this gun here, because it's the same kind of style, the revolver, to the Indiana Jones gun. Might do that later. Uh, and then you've got like the hat here. Put it on. I didn't find that the lock, it is a bit like it's very loose, so you kind of put it on and then you kind of take it off really loosely, so it sometimes falls off. Which, this thing kind of rarely happens with the figures nowadays. Um, but I think it's just always just that design of that figure. Oh, why don't we get onto the vehicle now? Get it focused. So, here's our vehicle here. A uh, very simple vehicle. I don't know if I'll use it much. I mean, I guess maybe in the background. Because I do a lot of uh, brick filmings, as you would know from... If you uh, watch other videos on my channel, and so actually it'd be cool today we do a brick film with these uh, characters. Going on to the vehicle, very basic, simple vehicle, as I said before. Not a big fan of it. Um, obviously this is kind of like the grid bar at the front. Uh, and then you've got uh, very generic wheels. And you've got wheels on the other side, <laughs> of course. It's a four-wheeled car, and then I think, is this the engine probably? And then, um, this Baron Von Baron, that's his name, Baron Von Baron, like, will fit in there. You can drive around. Well, I guess, firstly, before I end the video, I should say my uh, final thoughts. I guess you know from watching the video what they are, but just to wrap it up. Um, I quite like this figure. The vehicle, I think, is very basic, but that's just based on the time it was actually made. I think it, so I just, I kind of, I blame the time period that it was made in. And I think it doesn't really need to be complex, I think it's more about the figure, and I really like it, the set for the figure. Uh, great hook hands, great kind of detail on the face, even though it's more, I think it's better face and tor torso printing nowadays, with like back printing and stuff. I think it's still very kind of cool printing. And it's like, well you can't get this printing anymore. Like it doesn't, they don't make it, Lego doesn't make it. So it's quite rare to get it, unless you already have the set, like I had the set and I didn't know about it. So I think, yeah, it's a pretty cool set overall. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching, and stay tuned for the next video, which would be the Fright Night video. So, this one here, I'll be opening this set and reviewing it, the same as I've done with uh, this uh, Adventure Car set. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Alright, bye.